Shopping for an HDMI cable and not sure which to get? Maybe you've heard about the latest and greatest HDMI 2.1 and you're ready to make a mad dash to the store, but you want to do a bit of research first. It's good thinking. In this video, I'm going to give you a rundown of the several different versions of HDMI so you know which one you should buy. And it might not be HDMI 2.1. If you've used a camera, a TV, monitor, a projector, basically any piece of video technology in the past 10 years, you've seen one of these before. It's what transmits video and audio signals from your device to your display or receiver. They're pretty important. You've probably come across cables marked as HDMI 1.4, 2.0, or 2.1. If you've ever wondered what the difference is, maybe you've prayed to the HDMI gods to give you the answer, here I am. You're welcome. 1.4, 2.0, and 2.1 are HDMI specifications or versions, and it all started with HDMI 1.0 way back in the old days in 2002. But since then, the standard has been upgraded to support new technologies as well as higher resolutions, higher fresh rates, and higher transmission rates. Most recently, we have HDMI 2.1, and on paper, it's quite an advance over HDMI 2.0, nearly tripling the max bandwidth potential from 18 gigabytes per second to a whopping 48. And that's impressive stuff, but before you're like, pause this video and be like, I'm sold, shut up and take my money, you're gonna wanna take a look at your gear first. Because when it comes down to it, there's no advantage to using HDMI 2.1 with a device that doesn't support it. HDMI 2.1 is the future, but that doesn't mean that you should throw out any HDMI 2.0 or 1.4 cables that you have laying around and replace them with the latest and greatest. For one thing, that's wasteful. Um, for another, these cables may be perfectly fine for your existing applications and even future ones. If you're shopping for a cable and it's in your budget, it's not a bad idea to pay a little extra for HDMI 2.1. It'll work just fine with any device that uses HDMI 2.0 or lower since every HDMI version is backward compatible with previous generations. But if you're not planning on upgrading your tech anytime soon, HDMI 2.1 is just really unnecessary. And if you're looking for a cable to use with one specific device and nothing else, just go with whatever version of HDMI that device supports. So there you have it. Now you know what's up with HDMI versions. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos like this one and discover great video production products at epifan.com, including our popular Pearl family of hardware encoders. Thanks for watching.